la la Hello peeps and welcome back to Good Company. Welcome back to a brand new level. We are heading on to merry-go-round. Good County's administration has offered you some new buildings and not just any buildings. A long time ago, the humble conveyor belt was invented right here by a visionary baker. May these halls be filled again by the heartwarming hum of those great machines. Uh, so we are now getting into conveyor belts. Very excited about that. We can see here uh, we need to sell at least 10 cleaner bots hmm so a new item here so things are going to start to get dirty and we're going to need to uh, um do we employ them or build them uh, get cleaner bots maybe we just buy them um uh, and what's that per week with any compartment module installed this is interesting isn't it sell at least uh, 20 units of a product per week wow that's quite a big uh, jump for us isn't it it's almost sort of double what we've been kind of doing and produce at least 20 units of any product per week with a battery life of at least one. <gasps> oh, it's getting serious isn't it it's getting very real here okay here we are oh i like this character here uh oh look you've got a little uh this must be the baker right they've got a little um cupcake going on oh look at the conveyor belts here Ooh, we can, we can see conveyor belts. Oh, oh, there's a loss of buildings. Oh, look, and this conveyor belt travels. Oh no, we've got a couple here. Oh, oh okay, it's it's getting quite serious, isn't it? <laughs> it's getting quite serious. I guess this is the bakery here. Is this the bakery itself? Okay. Um, welcome to the magnificent property of the Leclerc family. Okay. Uh. Uh. Okay, truth be told, the old place has been uh, has seen better days. Uh, that's some uh, living history right there. <laughs> and you are? Why, I'm Linda, Linda LeClaire. Uh, little known fact, my grandparents came up with the original idea for conveyor belts. They should actually be named LeClaire Bands. Okay. I heard about that. It was a long time ago. I also heard that the famous LeClaire bakery uh, business took a big hit and never recovered. Ah, oh boy, I do miss those banana cookies. <laughs> Since the Leclerc Empire fell, I've only been able to keep hold of these few buildings. Well, there's quite a few of them here. God, it must have been much bigger. Uh, I've uh, maintained and reforged the Leclerc bands, though. Uh, they're in top condition. Excellent. Imagine what impact Leclerc bands uh, could have on our productivity. It would be an honour to see the Leclerc heritage become a vital part of a successful company. And so they shall. Let's not waste a second. It's time for us to enter a hot new market. Robots. Oh, okay. So maybe we are going to be making our cleaner robots. Fair enough. Uh, we should build up a stock of core components. I suggest we start with a steady production of motor modules. Okay. Set up uh, production for any motor module from the locomotion category. Output, uh, output, <laughs> output at least 20 units per week. Perhaps we could even use your new conveyor belt. Um, uh, that'd be exciting. Right. Well, let's just pause a minute. So we've got this building here. Both these conveyor belts are heading out of this building and into this next one. Uh, oh, and then it can go onto this building here, uh, which we don't yet own. Oh, we own this building over here, though, it seems. We own a building here, and that's good to know, but we don't own this one. This is to buy as well. Interesting. Okay, good, good. Right. Oh, we've got, we've got a lot to... Um, it, it, how much is involved in this, um, in this component, I wonder? Uh, I, I fear it might be a lot. Look at our shelf. So we now have a trash container. Discard... Discards dispensable items. Interesting. Okay, that that has been quite useful in the past. Look, conveyor belts, roller bands. That's these things, I suppose. And uh, the logistics point, which we're used to. We know these tables. That's absolutely fine. Okay. Uh, research. Do we have any new decorating items? No. Okay, good, good. So, uh, what we need to do is craft uh, 20 motor modules from the locomotion category. Now, um, let's see, I wonder, let's have a look. God, they're so, 
so it's written so small here that I'm looking at what each table can craft so that I can try and work out if if possible uh, which uh, table uh, we are going to need I'm surprised it's not the electronics table to be honest um, oh look there's gears on there now uh, do you know I don't don't actually see what we are looking for let's do we have to design something maybe um, well let's let's see let's get oh hang on assembly no let's get a design one of these down first of all maybe maybe we'll start here right oh do I let's go up to it create new there are no products okay <laughs> Let's see then if we can research anything. We don't have any research points. But it might just give me an idea is what I'm thinking. It might just give me an idea of what I need to do. Open tech tree. Oh look at everything that we know. We've already we already know most of the stuff that what we've uh, already researched in the in the past, except this enhanced case is new. Look, these cases are new. Look, and we've got a stylish case as well. But look, we saw down here. Here it is. So we do have oh a small stepper motor here. This is a, a small compartment. Okay, so we can make small stepper motor. This must be the thing, right? That it wants us to make um, motor modules. Ah, so we're looking for a small stepper small stepper here it is i'm blind small stepper motor right basic workbench uh, takes 10 seconds on one of these um okay uh small stepper motor so what's involved here oh my goodness all kinds mechanical parts which requires metal sundries and gears um also requires the rod and metal this, this, this right we it's already quite involved isn't it we've got an incoming zone here but no outgoing zone i see but we do have two outgoing zones here interesting so it is worth us getting into producing i think this here in this section and then we can always send them out here if we need to can't we okay and it looks like we've got a a thing here for extra conveyor belts if needs be interesting interesting so we know we're going to need to order metal so let's get those in this is this is an absolute certainty certainty uh now i've got to try and work out the rest Whew, um let's see so this can be crafted with actually this can be crafted oh so uh, mechanics a mechanics workbench can make these in four seconds should we go for it should we just go straight for that because this is the basic i was thinking there must be a faster one that can do it and there is it can be done oh do i not have that a mechanics workbench oh we don't have that at the moment oh there's a new workbench to come Ooh. <laughs> okay so we're going to have to go with all the basic workbenches meaning that all these take um 10 seconds and look at all this stuff that this needs now these metal sundries can take 22 seconds on a tinker bench blimey okay um so we're going to stick with the basic workbench we're just working out what the process is here at the moment okay this is not the layout i'm not going for a layout here just uh working it out as we go um okay uh so this one which will need the metal rods of course and we know that we need the metal rods in the final product as well so metal sheets uh, but we also need uh, gears as well uh, this has to be gears has to be on a tinker table uh, we're running out of uh, space um, and my uh, weird line so gears what's involved in gears right okay we've come to the end of the line here so metal uh, to go straight into these two excellent 
so having both these benches right here might actually be fine might actually be fine um, I might actually put that there spin this round and put it there like that and let them get their own metal right from here and, and then what we can do is stick a two-way shelf perhaps uh, like this or like that uh, I might go like I might go no 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 let's move this right <laughs> we can figure this out and then we'll say hey grab your metals from here and then when you're done with your gears stick them there and when you're done with your rods stick them there okay alrighty that's the first part of the process done everybody first part of the process done isn't that great now we need the next part of the process I think we're going to should we spin these around like this I think we might uh, do you know what we might also do is make it so people can walk between these that might be that might be good right so what have we got here so this needs the metal rods so you can take these metal rods directly from uh, this workbench indeed you can and what do you need right you are going to need so you can take these gears direct from there excellent lovely lovely um now so what we're going to want to do different we're going to want to then have them put their screws if he's already coming here for his gears maybe the screws could come back could come back to here that might actually save time and then he can pick up the screws from here as well and then um, so what we'll do is we'll actually move this shelf closer to him and then we can have him put his mechanical parts on this shelf here okay right now with that in mind we can take that and you know what we might do is also move nah leave that there right so what have we got here right we are going to need on this shelf at the moment he's only got these but he's also going to need rods and metal so we're going to have to get a logistics uh, point in here so that people can move these items for them uh, but it means then that this person can pick up these items direct from this uh, shelf um, and then they need to be shipped out um, now we know that we don't have an out uh, outgoing zone <laughs> we just have an incoming zone here <laughs> so what we need to do is make it so this guy can drop off I think what we'll do we will we'll stick we'll have him drop them back off into this shelving unit because there is room here so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that happen and then uh, somebody can come and stick them on I suppose that one I don't know so somebody comes and sticks them on here so I'm assuming yeah that comes all the way down the conveyor belt and then they just sort of pile up here and fall on the floor uh, <laughs> but then this per somebody comes here and sticks them there now I'm assuming it's probably a silly thing to do but I'm assuming we're going to need a logistics point in here um, actually it might make it a little bit pokey let's put the logistics point um, out here so I think we're going to need a logistics point there um and do you know what we'll only need one here i think actually we want to try and get it to include the incoming zone <laughs> uh shall we stick it this 
this side. There. No. I don't know what to do for the best at this point. Um, that'll do. That'll do. Right. Okay, I think I think we have a plan, plan in place. I don't know how this is going to work. We've just got to kind of get it going, really, and see what happens. So we're going to employ uh, a bunch of people. We're probably going to need more. Uh, right, you and uh, you and uh, uh, oh, you. Oh, you need somewhere. Excellent. Then you. Right, so we need, um, I would say, at least three more people. Um, one, two, three. Um, because I am going to want, I think I'm going to put two on here. Because this is quite a short run, but this is quite a long run. And then one over here, of course. Is this how this works? Who knows? But let's just see what this brings us initially. Oh. Let's just see what happens, I guess. Okay. <laughs> so... Oh, they produce they're producing things quite quick and we can see it slowly going through okay well done everybody I like this okay they finally got all their products look they seem to have quite a lot going on here excellent now he then is bringing this over here, which is great. And there it goes. Onto the conveyor belt. I'm assuming... Where's that? They haven't come over here yet. There she is. Oh, okay. She's thinking, oh, I'm in totally the wrong place. I need to go and have a look. What is this? We've got something in the, the manual here. She picks it up and I presume takes it to the outgoing zone. Where it gets sold. And hopefully we start to make a bit of money. There's another one. Ooh. Look. It's happening. I don't know how much these sell for. Uh, and if this is going to be. Mind you, we need to craft uh, 20 a week. But we'll just uh, let things get up to speed. Because it could be that this gentleman here has loads of products piling up which he does so oh it's, it's a lady sorry Carla <laughs> so what we could do to help production is simply uh, build another one of these basic uh, work benches like this and have them produce the same item and then in logistics like this and we can say you pop that there so we can make sure they get use all the same stuff and then we'll employ somebody and then that will up us even further because there's enough products right okay some of these you drag and some of them you just click on them it's a bit inconsistent um okay because there's enough products here i would say for two of them uh to work here um and still yeah we might notice we might even be able to get some more out of this yeah we might actually be able to get more there's plenty of products here it's the gears isn't it the gears and the rods that you have to keep an eye on and look he is he's doing really well with the gears well what we should do because yes what, what we what we can do is we can take those gears and just up how much space they can take on here same with uh, this uh, more space for those items on the shelf as well um, right so this is still yeah pumping up really quite quickly 
So let's see. I might put a couple more tables down. I wonder which is the best way to do this so that they're not, you know, if they're going to be all fighting over these. Um, let's see. I might do you like that and you like that. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Uh, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, we'll put you like that and you like that okay now we'll say you make these and you make these also now once again we have to get the, uh, the logistics sorted out so we'll say gears to you and gears to you so you're all using these shelves um, I might move these shelves just a smidge as well because that other guy works so quickly he can afford to do a bit of walking and they uh, have to walk back with all their gears as well. So what we... Oh, that one's missing something. Uh, metal, there we go. So what we can do with this that shelf, I think, is then move it to here. Just so it's a little bit closer to everybody working here. Right, and then we'll employ a couple more. Um, let's see, you and you. Let's see how we get along with this. We can see they're producing these gears very, very quickly. Um, I think we could possibly, I think there's room to make, yeah, more space for those gears. Let's do it. Okay. So now we've got four, uh, draining these supplies. Yeah, saw that plummet. And then he puts more in. So this guy, he makes five a time. He does make five a time. Um, which is great. He's making five at once, suggesting he might be able to support five tables, right? Might be able to support five tables. Um, interesting. Interesting. Mind you, this is probably going to be enough for the moment. Oh, and she is doing her best to ship those out. She doesn't walk back here until they've arrived, which is a little aggravating. It's a shame that we don't have an animation of it going down the roller bar. <laughs> Okay, great. We're really getting a move on now. Uh, we should decide what kind of robots um, we want to make, though. Uh, do we have something in mind, or do you have something in mind? Hmm, this whole facility is a little sticky, and that gives me an idea. Cleaner bots. Cleaner bots, brilliant idea. Let's start right away. Uh, not so fast, Linda. We don't have everything we need just yet to truly compete in this market. We need to plan for stability. Uh, no, sustainability. Okay, ah, uh, yes, I see. What do you recommend? Uh, I'm seeing some research categories that we've not yet investigated. Uh, compartment modules sound promising. Uh, with an analysis desk and two research desks, we should be able to make a decent start. Uh, generate and spend at least 10 basic uh, research data each day. Okay. So, uh, we've got the research, but what else does she say here? How many? Two of the... Right, okay. So, she would like us to have... Let's, uh, let's, let's take a, a stroll over there, shall we? Let's take a stroll over there, because we might be able to use some of these bits. We're going to block up this door, I think, get to get another uh, research bench in. And then we also need our analysis bench. Okay, so these are all the uh, bits that she wanted us to have. Now, can we analyze? Oh no, we can't analyze anything that we're producing here on mass by the looks of it, apart from these, these items. It's a shame we can't use any of these, but we can't uh, because I tell you, they're producing them at such alarming rates. Um, <laughs> they really, really are. What we'll do, surely we can do the, the the stepper motor thing, yeah. So what we'll do is we will employ somebody 
Brent to come in and work on those. Now, yes, he's thinking, well, where do I get these stepper motors from? Take them. Oh, not those. Take them from here. There you go. I'm not delivering them to you. I'm not going to make you that efficient. No. So he. So that's a fifth person now consuming uh, these. Uh, so that he can now, at this analysis desk, use them and consume them to produce our basic research uh, data points, which we're going to need. What is this in here? We're being told to look at something. Conveyor belts. Oh, I've been added. Okay, excellent. Um, right. Now. Let's open the research tree here. Look at all these things that we can research. I think we should probably research all of these things if we can. Um, small compartments. Let's start with a small compartment then, shall we? So we'll start research on that. Uh, and employ somebody because I'm lazy. Chew. There we go, chew. And then as as they gain points they can spend them again that's great okay now i could help with the research or i could employ somebody to do it i suppose i'll help with the research i'll do it myself oh look wow that was quick my grandparents could uh, never have imagined what innov innovative uh, people like you would one day create in this place. Uh, if only um, we still had access to the whole facility. Speaking of which, why did you sell off all of those buildings, Linda? The reforging of the Leclerc bands did eat into my savings, I must admit. I may have fallen behind on some of my mortgages. Uh, don't be too hard on yourself. Without your commitment, we wouldn't be able to benefit from this setup today. Let's put it to use. It's finally time to design a cleaner bot blueprint and put it into production. Aim for at least 10 units per week. This sounds complicated. This absolutely sounds complicated. Uh, I, I'm a little bit concerned about the fact that we're still not... Um, he's picking up. I was wondering... I'm concerned we're still not actually making any money from this. But, yeah, I mean, these are going out. Okay. And we are slowly researching more things, which is great. So, we would like to create a cleaner bot. Interesting. Ha ha ha. Um... Let's see here. A windowed case, enhanced case, um, or the polished case, um, which gives us the most space to play with. It's a bigger, it's a bigger item, which might need to be the thing that we're we're doing here. Plus, we're already making these sundries, lots of them. They're out of control, in fact. Um, so, I think this is what we'll do. Uh, we'll stick it in here. Oh my god, this actually doesn't look like a, a great design, does it? It's actually... Do you know, the enhanced case might be a little bit better. Yeah, do you know, I might go with the enhanced case. <laughs> to be honest. It's a, it's a nicer layout uh, to work with. So we have a small stepper motor. Um, these we're producing perfectly well. Um, and... Mobility, right, okay. There we go. We've hit our mobility. So what have we got here? Now, programmable is probably uh, going to be what we want. Oh, look at that. Oh, look how happy they are with it. God, people love that product. It's very, very simple, isn't it? We don't need batteries of any kind. Not required. Okay. Probably gets plugged in or something. Okay. Excellent. So what we need to do then is um, come up with a name. Ah, the Sanitation Utility Cleaner. So there we are. It's now named. Um, and look, it's its appeal is five, and we've barely used anything here. Isn't that amazing? So we probably could have used this polished case. Um, probably could have used this polished case, and it would use up some of the sundries. Do you know what? Let's do it. Let's... Because uh, we've got loads of them, haven't we? We're absolutely masses of them. So let's do that. Okay, so it's in a polished case. 
Um, so we'll need to get some wood in. Um, but that's okay. That is absolutely fine. Um, now, we can also... Oh, look at it! Look. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, well, this looks like the 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 most low tech version and no doubt we're going to have to make upgraded versions so i think i think this might be um our starting point right here um the crystal blue i guess is the one we're going to go for the crystal blue okay let's finish this done we've designed it we've designed it it's happened it's arrived so now we have to actually make this thing oh my goodness if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe thank you to all my patreons for their continued support